Good afternoon, everybody. Happy Monday. And thanks for joining us again on one of our Spotlight on Business videos. Uh, we're here today in a kind of a different industry than we've been highlighting uh, this past couple months, and that is the construction industry, which is a huge component of our living here in Pagosa Springs. Certainly one of the topics that is highlighted on everybody's list is housing and in particular affordable housing. So we are here to talk uh, with one of our construction companies who has had an integral part in trying to bring more affordable housing here to Pagosa Springs. So I am at the wonderful offices, one of the offices of BWD Construction, who is going to be here with us today. And joining us today is Rory Burnett, who is the CEO and partner with BWD Construction. And Rory, thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Well, you know, certainly as many mountain towns in Colorado, uh, construction is a big part of our communities. And so tell us a little bit, first off, I'm sure everybody asks you, what does BWD stand for? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Most, mostly uh, the first question that we get is, uh, stands for Beyond Your Wildest Dreams. And uh, we kind of created that name because uh, that's, that's the service that we've, we've desired to bring uh, to Southwest Colorado is, is to, to make people feel like their dreams are coming true. Great. So how long has BWD been in Pagosa Springs? It's gone through, I think, an iteration. Mm -hmm. So one of the one of the topics we like to cover is tell us your story. Yeah. How how long have you been here? And tell us a little bit about your transition over the years. Absolutely. So for BWD, uh, started our first project in 2013, uh, actually down by the river by Yamaguchi Park with the cobblestone development. And um, mostly started as developers, and in 2016 started BWD Construction, and actually started building ourselves um, in, in kind of how we are right now. Um, my one of my business partners, Jack Sorto, founded the company. Um, I started my construction company um, actually uh, in 2009. Is is kind of when I started building, which was a horrible time to start a company, <laughs> but. Um, <laughs> But I was able to sustain that and then help Jack kind of build the first um, few for BWD. And then I came on as partner um, uh, right before COVID. And, uh, another great time. Yeah, another great time. So I, I, I really ate it well <laughs> as far as the timing goes. But it's been good because it's taught me a lot about business and, uh, and, and, and how to navigate the hard times. Because if you can navigate the hard times, the good times will just roll. So we have talked about that um, concept in every one of our video series. And that is, A, Pagosa Springs is seasonal, um, but we also have a tendency to maybe lag a little bit behind when the economy you know, comes back, Pagosa Springs is still lagging. One of the things we didn't experience though was in COVID, for us, it exploded because right. everybody wanted to move to a mountain town. They wanted to get out of the city. But one of the things that we do try and cover is as a business owner, how do you really plan for those, those lean times or how you, we can't predict anything, but you know that the market is going to shift. How as a business owner, do you plan for that kind of stuff? Yeah, uh, that's a great question. I, I would say uh, for us um, and, and a couple of my other businesses as well, um, Two Chicks and Hippie is one of them. And we've kind of taken the same philosophy across the board where we um, are loyal to kind of a core staff, where we have a lean staff that we expect a lot from, but we're going to serve them um, as their employer. And, and keeping consistent marketing and, and keeping on the forefront of, of actually what's happening um, as far as technology is concerned, um, building methods. So 
So making sure that we are the first choice because we're the best choice. Um, so if we, if we sustain that throughout, um, we'll continue to be that. And that's, and that's what we've done is it's the same marketing. I'm sure you've seen our trucks drive around town. Um, you, you know, you've seen our Instagram, a walking billboard yeah, a walking billboard. <laughs> or a driving billboard. Yeah. So, so we just keep that as a high priority. Um, because again, if, if it's going to building still going to have to happen even in the worst of times. So we just want to make sure that we're the first choice, even in those times. So Rory, let's talk a little bit about the building industry in Pocosa Springs. Certainly a lot of people feel, ooh, again, another mountain com town community. It's beautiful. We have these uh, mega mansions coming in. A and certainly we see those. Yes. We see these absolutely beautiful homes. I look uh, at, at your background the, or the background behind you and know that there's a lot of beautiful work that goes into all these homes. But I think BWD for years now has really been trying to work on that other end of the spectrum and that is affordable housing. That's right. Can you tell us a little bit about that model that you're that you guys have developed? Yeah. Yeah, so we've uh, basically since the start, um, one of the, the aspects is we're building these multi-million dollar homes. We also want to serve um, the people that have to live and work here as well. And uh, so we've, we've done everything from, you know, the townhomes at Mount Lake Villas. We've built, you know, kind of efficient units. Um, and so we, we've tried a lot of models in, with the private sector. Um, and now we have an amazing opportunity to partner with the Community Development Corporation, which you're um, very, very much involved with the community. And, um, so, so you were part of this, of, of the Chris Mountain 2 project that we got awarded 10 homes out there. And um, that was actually the fruit of about 18 months of planning um, on our side before we were even approached by, by the CDC. And so uh, for us, it was looking at what's the most efficient designs and then how do we actually get these prices down in housing? And it comes with, you have to do, um, you know, five to 10 at a time in order to make it worth it. And so, so that's what we've been, been doing. Um, I told you right before we turn on the camera, we, you know, our, our yard is completely filled with like three or four semis full of, of lumber. And uh, we'll start framing on, on, on 10 homes on Monday. So, so um BWD had to compete for this project right. as well. Yeah. And so I know that the CDC narrowed that down to several builders. Um, and certainly you all were part of that competitive process and then won that bid. Right. Bringing 10 homes that I believe are deed restricted right. and they have an interview process, which We'll kind of throw a plug in for there. You can go to the CDC website and certainly there is an application process. Not not easy, but you know, they do want to make sure that people do qualify. When can you tell us the, the build out of that? Are all 10 homes going to be ready? when is the completion of the pro of this first phase of the project? Yeah, so the first couple of homes will be ready to be moved into early December. And then, and then as those are done, basically every two weeks, a home will be done. And then we'll finish um, everything sometime the first of, of next year. But this is just really the first phase That's of right. affordable housing um, that and a project that you all are involved in now. Can you tell us a little bit more about what the plans are for more affordable housing? Because mm -hmm. I know a lot of it is in the Chris Mountain 2 um, area with the county having donated numerous prop, um, properties, vacant properties. So can you tell us a little bit more about the upcoming phases? Sure. Um, as, you know, as far as I know, uh, again, <laughs> you know, it's not done until it's done, but uh, it seems like the, the method right now is going to be to release 10 homes at a time. And that seems to be a good, a good pace. Um, you know, we hope to no more and maybe even potential break ground in the next 10 by August. Um, but right now our main focus is, is just building out what's in front of us and preparing for the next. So that's the affordable housing, but BWD isn't all consumed with that. You're right. still in the building industry. Right. So um, 
T tell us a little bit about your model and the gamut that you run in the housing industry. Sure. Yeah, so so we're a little bit different than your run-of-the-mill uh, contractor in Vergosa, um, which is, you know, again, it's just different. I'm not going to say one is better or worse, but for us, uh, we've really built a, a general contracting firm. So I have five project managers, um, you know, about 10 superintendents between Archuleta County and La Plata County. Um, we're even building over the South Fork. Um, so, so we, as far as I know, we're the largest residential general contractor in Southwest Colorado um, and, and from Little Old Pagosa. And, and we've been able to do that by having amazing team members that take on the project, how we see it of. We're, we're very heavy um, in our technical capabilities because most of our clients are out of state. So we do communication. Uh, scheduling, bills, everything in online portals. Um, so that's kind of how we've been able to do that. And so because of our model, we can take on anything from, you know, multi-million dollar custom homes to large remodels to affordable housing. Um, and then we even have our turnkey where we, we've, we've designed homes that are efficient for high snow areas and individuals can come in and choose a plan, choose a package and we can execute that and they'll know the price up front. Um, so that's kind of uh, our, 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 our areas of expertise is that, is, is that we are a management firm that executes on projects quickly. And something different that, um, that you don't get to hear a lot, I get calls, actually I had a call last night um, of someone that doesn't want to build till 2027 because they thought all builders are stacked up. And because of our model, we can basically start as soon as we have plans. And that's been a very... Um, surprising nature for the clients that we have on right now. Sure. Well, it, certainly construction is a, an economic driver here mm -hmm. in Pagosa Springs. So we're grateful that you have looked at and have changed the typical business model of a construction company. Yeah. So anything else before we close out this um, segment um, that you'd like to talk about either BWD, your business, or words of wisdom to anybody, you know, even <laughs> even if a business isn't in the building industry, any words of wisdom to a business owner? Yeah, I would just say, um, you know, as, as we're building Pagosa specifically, um, if, if we as business owners can build like we're in the big city, which what that means is that we're organized, that we communicate well, and, uh, and that we have the technology that would compete against you know larger companies or businesses in the city. Um, I think that benefits everybody, and that's a that's a big investment, time to learn and money. Um, but we have seen it pay huge dividends to do that. And so that's that would be my words of wisdom and encouragement to other business owners is just to build like we have a lot of competition, and that, that serves our clients the best. Sure. Well, thank you very much. And as you mentioned, one of your other businesses. Maybe we'll get your mom in there uh, and maybe you'll get as one of the owners will come for two chicks and a hippie. Yeah. So hopefully we'll be, you're always too busy. We can't get you <laughs> recorded. We can't get you <laughs> on, uh, on our show, but we will, we will focus on that. But thank you for explaining to us of the business model of BWD, your involvement in the community, your commitment to affordable housing. Uh, and thank you for joining us today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Appreciate All right, it. and thank you everybody again for joining us this Monday uh, on another Spotlight on Business. And we hope that you join us every Monday and we hope that you're getting some great pointers, uh, not only about the business and their story, but uh, some tips on running your own business. Thanks again for joining us. We'll see you next week.